You're still watching The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Time to look at the headlines on the front pages of the national newspapers. And I'm glad to say we have legal practitioner Tunde Kolawale joining us on the program this morning to do justice to these headlines via phone. Mr. Kolawale, good morning to you. Good morning to you, too. Thanks for having me. Thanks for joining us. Glad to Thank you very much. Let's uh, get things rolling with a punch newspaper that has some very uh, interesting uh, headlines on the front page. Uh, the issue of subsidy is a lead headline there, uh, and it says subsidy NNPC may deduct over one trillion naira from FAC in six months. That's the Federation Allocation Accounts uh, Committee. Uh, it says, with the riders to that story, FG plans PIA amendment. Messi, you were hampering, hammering on that yesterday. Uh, extends subsidy removal by 18 months. NLC suspends protests, says talks with federal government continue. And states face hard times over salary payment, others economists warn. At the top of the front page of the punch issue by this headline, African Airlines passenger traffic crashes by 65% over Omicron. Others details can be found on page 20. Another one from the Punch newspaper. National Assembly agrees on consensus. Others lists conditions. I'm guessing that is referring to um, the issue of uh, the um, Electoral Act Amendment Bill uh, sent back to the president. MPC experts foresee tougher days as CBN retains lending rate. Nigeria sinks deeper in corruption rating drops to 154. ICPC disagrees. Lawan meets customs DSS and SCDC over fuel smuggling. Reps majority leader gets 28th child. Lawmaker pursues 30. Amazing. Uh, at the bottom of the front page, of the punch newspaper, we have these headlines. Quora meets Christians and Muslims, says hijab stays in schools. Ogo Monarch's murder, police get clues. Abiodo demands killers' arrests. Lover demands money to transport visiting girlfriend's corpse. Family alleges foul play. At the bottom of the front page of the punch newspaper, Fanny Ferry. Plans political party insists on state police constitution review. Lagos housewife allegedly kills husband with pressing iron during argument. That's really, really sad. And IG fortify security as AKT PDP APC primaries hold today, Thursday. Those are the headlines on the front page of the punch. All right, quickly, let's uh, turn our attention to the Daily Independent newspaper. Electoral Act Amendment Bill, NAS harmonizes position on consensus candidacy. Says parties must get written content of all the aspirant. And uh, that's the rider underneath the board caption. Away from that, 91 million Nigerians now live in poverty, NESG, according to that report. 8 million were thrown into poverty in 2021. And that's just last year. Buhari asked security agencies to leverage 5G in tackling insecurity. And away from that, restructuring Nigeria before 2023 elections still achievable, a fanny for uh, six. And uh, you also have another header saying, six release of Sondik Boho, Namdi Kanu. And underneath, you also have 2023 presidency, 600 women groups declare support for Yahaya Bello. And CBN retains benchmark interest rate at 11.5%. Senate passes bill allowing colleges of education to award degrees. Nigeria drops in latest transparency corruption ranking. Why Buhari extended fuel subsidy removal by 18 months, according to Minister. I mean, this is some of the headlines on the Daily Independent newspaper. We move straight to the nation this morning. The major headline on the front page of the nation newspaper no surprises there subsidy extension stalls petroleum industry act it has the following writers pia for return to law makers buhari okay's continuation of subsidy payment and labor suspend suspends protest plan 
At the top of the front page of the punch of the nation is repair, and Dangote remains Africa's richest. A wiki accuses Amici of dumping rivers playing in Germany, and now it's been a back and forth between the supporters of Wiki and the supporters of Amici after the governor of River State went to Germany with an entourage um, and it was having to pay some millions of dollars to repair the plane and took some pictures there. So it's a, a highly political issue. Um, still with the Nation newspaper, over 1,200 delegates to pick a PDP candidate today. And House leader Dogua welcomes 28th child. Mercy. So, uh, that's a, a huge number. Um, another one. No capital flight from Nigeria, says the MFLA MPC retains interest rate at 11.5%. Electoral bill, lawmakers okay consensus with tough conditions. And the writer, party must obtain aspirants' written consent. At the bottom of the uh, nation newspaper's front page, Songwon Lu Tinubu Obasa, mourn ex Lagos SSG Adeni Rogusaya. Um, for those of you who are wondering where the name oh, oh, sounds familiar, as a street uh, nearby with. Uh, that same name. And uh, massive endorsement for Oyetola's second term bid. Those are stories uh, and headlines on the front page of the nation. And just before we have uh, Tunde Kalawale join the conversation on the leadership, you have President Mohamed Buhari, booby traps next president, extends the PI implementation by 18 months. I mean, that's quite interesting. Remember having that conversation yesterday and the fact that this would be the law turning against itself because you have the law. You cannot ignore the law. Sounds like, you know, very smart move. Delay will erode investors' confidence. This is what stakeholders are talking about. Decision hasty without stakeholders' input. NLC suspends planned protests. Lawan wants fuel smuggling stemmed. These are the riders underneath the board caption. NAS passes electoral bill with direct, indirect, and consensus option. And the Central Bank of Nigeria retains the MPR at 11.5% around other parameters. Omicron, Saudi Arabia to lead travel ban on Nigeria. And you also have tension in Katsina local government over soldiers' withdrawal. And Dangote retains Africa's richest person with 13.9 billion naira value, I mean, I beg your pardon, billion dollar value. Military kills e-swept terrorists in Bornu airstrike. Uh, These are the headlines on the leadership newspaper this morning. All right, uh, over to our guest, Tunde Kolawale, a legal practitioner. Mr. Kolawale, let's start with uh, that story um, on the front page of the leadership newspaper. We all know and are aware of the history of um, the petroleum industry bill which became the petroleum industry act and the suspension of the subsidy removal and um, do you agree with this description that the president which is an interesting description is booby trapping the next president by doing a u-turn on the pia well uh, honestly despite the fact that uh, that is the petroleum industry bill that the is not perfect it's not the best it could have better started or make a law to regulate activities in that sector. But the one that has been done now, at least we can do things with that until we get it uh, right. What is at the bottom of the GI is uh, the political, uh, political in the sense of uh, uh, there are certain sections of the country that doesn't want the GI to be further into power. They want to continue to carry on all two systems in that area. Indeed, they have always done it. Which has never added too much or any time to the petroleum industry and to the flat flat before. Now, for the president to say to think again, the may, the implementation of the CI, uh, in a way, he says it's a successful that we begin to implement the CI. Doesn't just speak well at all uh, for us as a people, for the president, and for the national assembly that has never over this law since the return to the democracy uh, or to civilian law. Why the president is going to do that? He hasn't this law for a social system. And if he has made that kind of an important thing, he will not rise on to tell the whole nation. 
to tell the national assembly to tell your precious master why you think that spirit or that law shouldn't take up as now. I smell it that. I think that the society has a belief that the president is not even comfortable with the CIAC, that he merely got in the time it is to go because of the agitation from the other part of the country in Niger Delta in particular. You and I will know that as much as 30 percent of the uh, revenue that is generated from the petroleum sector is to be used to post up for oil and in the northern part of the country. The percentage that has also been allocated, I think, for the people of the United States, is now posted in I think it's now in fact at 3% or 5% of the country, which we think is not a good move in the The key consequences of the superstition, ecological disaster, and the conference that the people of the United States have come to, and then the devaluation even of the people of the United States, just like the fact that we contribute almost 90% of the revenue that keeps this uh, country like uh, money. By now, if we were a nation, if we were a nation with content, if we were a nation that has too many people who are the United States, we would have been providing accommodation for them free, we would have been giving their children schools free, we would have built the type of schools in there, we would have given them. Um, um, Good uh, waterways uh, for transportation. We would have cleaned up the environment so that people can live without the fear of uh, getting a cancer in the future, of getting skin diseases in the future, of the pollution of their water and the killing of the city inside that water. All right, the action the call, of the public. Uh, let, let, let's quickly turn our attention. So, so we have time to look at, uh, uh, share your thoughts on some of the issues, big stories on the dailies this morning. Let's quickly turn our attention to the Daily Independent uh, newspaper this morning, where you have concern raised by the uh, group, Afeni Ferry, saying restructuring Nigeria before 2023 elections still achievable. And for them, they are asking that there be, you know, that's possible because uh, suggesting the adoption of the 2014 Comfab and also the 2018 Malam Erufai Committee of the All Progressive Congress on True Federalism. Do you think that that's achievable, restructuring the Federation? Because, I mean, it involves some constitutional amendment before 2023. In the structure of the country, it can be achieved within uh, one year, even without, without even within without firing a shot, if there is a good way. But the truth of the matter is that they are very serious people are so bad. They are not serious. They don't know what they are saying. I'm not too sure that they are committed to this discussion. You don't sit in your system, in your offices, and then begin to make sense of the basis of the newspaper that wants to structure. What affirmative action can you take to ensure that the case is structured? I have said it time to ask on that. You can get to socially in so many ways, through peaceful means, without any rank of permanent power. And I will give you two examples. If, for example, the western uh, region of the country decides that all their schools, primary, secondary, university, will be using the same textbooks to teach their children in their respective schools, and that they will begin to do things that to teach their children in their respective schools, and all that. That will lead to restructuring. If, for example, so, they are very, very busy, all their courts, uh, magistrate court, high court, high and, and, uh, and whatever other court, whatever court that they have, will use one civil uh, procedural rule. They will use one criminal code to administer their respective courts and all that. And that uh, the salaries and allowances of then judges and back in those cases will be the same. That will be leading to the person without firing the shot. So, there are so many other things that you can take. Affirmative action in terms of the periodic demonstration, in terms of mobilizing your people, in terms of putting pressure on the federal government sector to conduct the reform as regards to having restructuring in the different parts of the country. But they never do that. They sit in their offices and in their, in their bedrooms and start making noise on the basis of the newspaper. 
and then uh, during the night, we hear they will go to the people in authority in Abuja and then they will get to sleep and start to ask you for land and money and uh, for money to fill it a land that are located to them. For me, I I, I, I am putting up on those people. Okay. But maybe it is not on the side. Maybe it's because they lack ideological understanding. Because whatever you are saying, without teachings of ideological understanding, some cultures is going from consistent to it. Some determination is being done, no that. They are never likely going to get this up. Nobody ever had an advantage of it and willingly consider that advantage and give it to you in the platter of food. Right. And then they then, 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 then put them there for the other side. For okay. so me, it is possible. We can serious uh, 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 seriousness on the part of the African people. Okay. Mr. Kolawale, uh, please, please let, let's move on to another. Yes. Look at when they started their protest. And now that that is part of the protest of the social media, even the labor state has the people who say very much. Okay. Let's can we, let's move on from that, Mr. Kolawale. Sorry to interrupt you there. Uh, uh, but but I, I would like to take your thoughts on a story that is in at least two of the national newspapers. One uh, definitely on the front page of um, the leadership newspaper, the National Assembly finally passing a harmonized um, um, uh, electoral act amendment bill um, following a motion on rescission of that controversial clause 84 on the direct mode of primaries for you know, political parties now including uh, direct primaries, indirect primaries, and consensus candidature. Uh, what, what do you think about this, especially the fact that National Assembly, the House of Reps passed, what? yeah, a different one, and like the, the Senate had to come back? The National Assembly did that law not because they want a better way, a fair way, a justice way of selecting the fair of the respective political they made that law, they put that law, and that section into the scheme, into the NFT, uh, based on what you can call an enlightened person, or even an unenlightened person, if you like. They think that they go for that, and the financials of the political party are dominating those political parties. They dictate you get the value of the respective political party. And in order to win, in order to rescue themselves from the hands of the so called dead father, who dictate and who call the shots to. The way that embedded that uh, initial uh, uh, class of uh, direct primary into the electoral act. I repeat and I emphasize it. Putting how the different political parties select their party around uh, into a elect law, it is wrong. It is not the difference of the Mr. Assembly to put that provision into the law. It is the duty of the respective political parties as guided by the rest of who decide how they are different uh, in black bearers in the flag. Don't forget, all the different political parties are not signing on the same platform. It is not the same because of the ability to them. Their membership are not active. So when you throw that kind of a flag bearer on them, you are going to cause chaos to the smaller political party who have little to do, little resources to really organize their own. Imagine you were to bring staff, imagine you were to pay money, imagine you were to go to all the uh, secondary and then call the government in the country, and then the different world is the country. So, control direct command. How many of the smaller parties have the resources to do that kind of thing? So many of them don't have to decide the GDP and the OTC. All the other parties don't have to do the of the money. But with that as a slave, what they have also done to do is, is a recipe for chaos. That uh, look, you can use uh, IT, you can use that from Central, you can use direct primary, you can also use uh, whatever other method. Based on agreement with the different contestants, in our humble opinion, that in the recipe uh, for crisis, it should be clear cut as we to Let's leave the different political parties to decide how they are flagged the other format. Based on their strength, based on their membership. But, 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 but Mr. Kolawale, uh, you, you're, you're, yes, sir. Yeah, you, you say, Mr. Kolawale, you're saying the parties should be left to, you know, decide what mode of um, selection of their candidates. But, but, but some people have, have complained, you know, that they have said that rather 
the inclusion of this this thing called consensus, you know, mode of electing uh, uh, candidates may further worsen the problem of lack of internal democracy in the political parties. I disagree. Why do I say I When you look at the center of those partners and the financier who are calling the shots in the respective political parties, what is their, their number, their aggregate number? They are less than 1% or 2% or 5% of the membership of the respective political parties. So if only 5% of the members of the members of a political party will now be the one ramming down the neck of the majority of people, they will not like for you to stand up to those five percent that the majority will be in the fact that they stand up to that the minority group. And then uh, they will uh, uh, ensure that uh, the property is so that the member of the group and the next of the other But they are feeling uh, too afraid to control the cost of that, they think they don't have to go. Yes, they want to return to the next person on the track of two years, they are holding the assets to make a one. It has really no fight. It has really no struggle. So, sweeping the cost of the book, they will not slide on the land of time in the to ensure that the proper things are done. Because the South Internet Democracy in the respective political parties will be treated by the members of those political parties that are not we are never going to get the democracy. Nobody should be coming to another to speak in the sense of the democracy in the respective political parties. It is a member of those political parties themselves that must respect the internal democracy and not INEC and not the national assembly. If the INEC and national assembly have to be what is the essence of the party? They must do that all the different parties do have to guide their activities and materials and programs. Mm. Okay. All right, sir. Before I move on on this issue, the, the, the conditions that the National Assembly listed as well, um, they're saying that the parties must get the written consents of the other aspirants for that issue of consensus to work, that the other aspirants was right, that I approve, I agree that I'm part of a consensus to have this candidate um, you know, uh, emerge. And you think that, that that's basically going to fix everything that may have been perceived yeah, negative about this? Look at what happened to the recent play. You know the Philip tried to do his congress in the GPC. And what happened? Uh, some godfathers in the past hijacked all the material from the people that were sent from Africa to come and conduct the world congress and all that. And went to have some hotels to go and kill the names of people who continue to dedicate to the congress. By the time you are talking about this process and all that, what stops the board partner from my jacket and material for, for this congress and putting the names of their own on you know, the congress seat and all that and say that they can take one of their parties? Look at also the way uh, the fire temple and the new community have treated on me with regard to this family that they are talking about in the city. They went and agreed with themselves at the, uh, at the last minute. And then they uh, 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 took on me a uh, half of it. And then we came into the air and all that. So these are the kind of advice that we take. These are the kind of uh, meetings they will do at night. So you may say, look, this is what we have achieved and all that. And try to run it at the end of the respective political party. I mean, let that be in front of us with the. With whatever official that the headquarters of the party has been ready to discuss to conduct some of these things. Wherever. Tunde Kala Wale. The Nigerian deadlines are not ready for. All right, let, let's, let's move away from, uh, you know, the mode of primaries be direct, indirect, and yeah. consensus now. Yeah. And look at the issue of poverty. Now, according to the Nigerian Economic Summit Group, uh, this is actually a cry out, saying that 91 Nigerians now live in poverty. And they also said that 8 million Nigerians were thrown into poverty in 2021. What are your thoughts? <laughs> well, you and I will remember that Mr. President not long ago that they are taking millions of people out of poverty. That this uh, report is coming from a different organization, tend to negate 
Let's chip this in. You yeah. also want to agree with me that, you know, the uh, administration of President Muhammad Buhari has been very great with the uh, social investment program. So how come this has not trickled to reducing the rate of poverty and the fact that you still have 8 million Nigerians thrown into poverty and 91 in... But sister, you are the one saying it. If it was not that it would have been very hard to do, go and check the union manner, the social insurance being implemented. You remember when the first the above came up and said that in all the seven years we saw the people men, they were going to be reduced people and I think paying them back to thousand dollars. What happened to that? The people in the National Assembly wanted an allocator. The governor wanted an administration. Uh, the people in the next year of seven also wanted an administration. So at the end of the day, those of the people who got to the seat of that Kayamo project. We are people who have ability. We are people who are close to the politicians. We are people that the politicians have selected uh, for that uh, program. Even let's leave at that place. Those selected are also not here. These are poor and qualified. No matter what we are going to do. But was this money being paid to them regularly? And as to say, some of them are complaining that their money is not to pay. What do you think that's how we And look at the fact that we are going to pay. The 30,000 naira is not to transport somebody from his home to the work area in the Atlanta, in the Sun, and then the maybe the park. Is that enough to take care of us? He found a room and look at all those who want to take care of the other one and what happened. That's the 30,000 and all that. What is the other issue that we need to get out of the money? If they have been better in terms of accommodation. If they have invested in that from there, they may be not here. They may use it to pay that debt and so on. I haven't seen any of the social uh, or poverty and education projects. Uh, anybody who has come out and made it to get a very big poverty and education subsidy or whatever, that I got from the federal government or that I got from the state government, has paid me out of poverty. And you have told me to support the poor in the This is how much I have made. There is this money we have paid for me. Tunde Kala uh, we have to let you go at this point in time. We do apologize. Thank you so much for being part of the conversation, Tunde Kola Wale. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yes, we are really out of time and we have to let you go. But well, we do appreciate your thought. It's been fantastic sharing your thoughts on some of these national issues.
You too. Quite interesting thoughts uh, from the legal practitioner, Tuna Kololi. It's the 26th of Jan January 2022. Ahead, we look at remarkable events that happened today in history. When we return, we delve into our major conversations. <laughs>